Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next live attack video, and uh, I'm taking on a Town Hall 10 base right here, kind of a typical base, and uh, I'll probably take on a little bit more of an exotic base on my second attack, but uh, fortunately, our 9s did a great job, and uh, the 10s have a little bit more freedom as far as where to hit this war, so I can go for a 3-star attempt, and uh, hopefully get the job done here on number 9. Uh, pretty solid base, but I have a good plan, I think. And it's kind of the textbook thing that I've been talking about, you see it on the channel, where we're doing the queen walk, going to start the queen right here, try to keep her out of range of the cannon, and then just let her start walking up this way with four healers. The funnel should be pretty easy. And she's not going to need a rage, is what I'm hoping. Because uh, as she makes her way through, I'll drop down a giant, like that, and then uh, four wall breakers to open this up. Uh, the giant will probably be more like that, but uh, you guys get the idea. Then, then uh, four wall breakers open everything up, let the queen come in here. Uh, she should only just have that expo on her at that point. Uh, that's the goal. I have the ability if I need it, so uh, should be plenty there. Don't need a rage for her, and she should start taking out some of these buildings here. Uh, but anyway, as that's going on, I'm coming in on the uh, left-hand side with a golem. going to place it right there to aggro both of these archer towers. want to try to get both of those locked on. Then uh, wizards, a jump spell. I mean, I could use wall breakers, but it's going to take up time. The golem's going to start getting uh, beat down pretty quickly. So again, do a jump, make it a little bit easier. And then the king, like three valks, maybe another wizard. Let that all make its way in. I'll have a poison for the CC and the queen. The CC is just a lava hound. So, uh, I mean, not that big of a deal. And a lava hound and like a wizard and archer, so they should take out the wizard, the queen, the archer, and the lava hound will just kind of sit up there, uh, which is all good. And they'll create the funnel on the other side, and then, uh, you know, true to the nature of this kind of textbook attack, I'm gonna come in with the Valk speed through the wall here, drop a jump right like that, uh, let them just make their way into the core. Uh, in the core, there's the Teslas, uh, which I've seen on the first attack, just like that. I'm going to drop a Rage, a Heal, and a Freeze all pretty quickly. Uh, the Freeze will be like on these uh, defenses like that. And uh, as soon as the Valks are making their way through, uh, that's pretty, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, and uh, hopefully the Queen will still be up. She can continue to walk this way, get more buildings, have some a few extra Wizards, a few Minions. I'm not bringing any Hogs, so we'll see how this works out. Hopefully we can get the 3-star and uh, this is a strategy that I use a lot when I go for three-star attempts on these type of bases. And it tends to work out pretty nicely. So hopefully uh, the same goes. Queen walk should work. Um, just have to gem these heroes. No big deal. They just have um, just a few minutes left on them. Uh, so make sure I have everything. Got the heroes. The spells look good. Uh, got the uh, golem, the giant. 18 Valks, four healers, the minions. Um, yeah, that's all looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get this attack going. Alright, so number 9 right here. Uh, watch the first attack on that, obviously. So, the important thing here is that uh, I make sure that the queen doesn't aggro that right away. And the air defense shouldn't be able to take out the healer. So if I just drop the queen, yeah, right back there should be fine. Kind of between those two buildings, the archer tower and the army camp and... Uh, uh, yeah, let's go from there. So we'll see how this works out. Wish me luck, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, have everything. I already checked that. Um, okay, here we go. All right, start off with the queen. Right, like... Uh, there, four healers. Perfect. She should start making her way in. Alright. Get the giant ready. Uh, yeah, giant's ready. Cannon's locked on. It should go down in a moment. She should keep making her way through. I'll drop the giant as soon as that wizard tower locks on. Uh, right there. One, two, three, four. Alright, she's made her way in. Okay, I'm going to start in with this in just a moment. Uh, let's get the golem going. Wizard, wizard. Jump, king, two, three, wizard. 
uh, poison or poison there. And uh, get the Valks going. King's ability. There's that jump. Pop the Queen's ability. There's the rage. Heal. And freeze. Okay, we'll see how this shapes up. Everything's down. Uh, looking pretty good. That Lava Hound is still up. It could mean a little bit of trouble, but still have a ton of Valks left up. Uh, we'll see how much work they can do here. Luckily, the Lava Hound's on them. The Queen's kind of on her own over here. Uh, where can we drop this stuff? Um, as soon as that Archer Tower changes targets... Ooh, this is tough. I don't know where exactly I want to start dropping stuff. Uh, a lot of defense is still up. We will go ahead and drop in a wizard to help out with the queen. About a minute left. Okay, let's start getting these down along the outside here. I uh, don't have a poison left, so I'm just going to have to let the queen deal with that stuff. Uh, time might get me here, if, if nothing else. Where can I drop this? Uh, yeah, time should get me here. Uh, go ahead and drop down this wizard. Um, yeah, I'm going to run out of time here, but it was a really good attack. I'll probably get up to about 90% is my guess. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and look at the replay. The Valks did hesitate, and I was trying to see where I could drop the um, uh, the archers, minions, wizards. But really, the Valks were going down quickly. I think if I tried to drop them, uh, they would have uh, the defenses would have turned around and aggroed them. So, uh, so I don't really think that would have made a difference. Maybe a few uh, balloons or hogs or something because uh, the Valks kind of made did their job, but and there was plenty of them left over. But there was just really nothing to take out the rest of the base. So uh, it's tough, 91%, yep, just that little part of the base left up. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this attack. We'll go ahead and take a look at the replay once. And uh, yeah, I need 30 more seconds. So yeah, we'll take a look at this uh, one more time, see how anything that could have been changed. But I think pretty much stayed true to plan. Uh, go ahead and go to the start here, drops down the queen. Uh, so the queen does her job here, just out of range of that cannon, so she'll stay at full health. And uh, right here, the closest thing is to move up, take out that gold mine, and keep moving forward. So the the really valuable thing at Town Hall Ten, and I've been saying this a lot, but it's you know it's really important is a queen walk where there's no uh, rage is needed. That gets you great value because you can save the spells for your Valks. The Valks require a lot of spells, so uh, being able to do a queen walk with no spells required really frees you up to do other stuff within the attack, and. Uh, it, you need to like basically encounter this point defense one at a time, which I did. So the queen did a great job. Uh, there goes the golem, the wizards. That one wizard got into the lab by accident. Uh, not sure why, just kind of dropped it in the wrong position. So the king doesn't go in immediately. Uh, the Valks do, but everything was fine here. The Valks run up, they're going to aggro that queen. And uh, those two Valks actually take down those buildings, which was, which was huge for creating the funnel. So right there, the queen goes down. Uh, the king does actually good, a good job. I probably could have snuck in some wizards or something right there, some hogs or something if I should have, if I brought them to take out some of those defenses. That actually would have been huge because uh, that was the area that was left up at the end of the attack. But the Valks go in fine, uh, have the freeze for them, awesome value for that freeze, getting all four of those defenses. And then the heal, which might have been a little early, but I think it at least did some of its job. Got the Valks pretty much to full health, but right here, uh, they're basically just stuck in the core. Everything's shooting in on them. And uh, they get out, they get a few buildings taken out, but for the most part, they die pretty quickly. And uh, it's just left for my queen to try to take out the rest of the base. So I think on these type of attacks, the, the lesson is maybe uh, bring some hogs or something, because there's going to be some distracted defenses uh, at various points of the attack. You know, once as the king goes in to create the funnel on that one side, there were a lot of opportunities there because there's the king and the golem, which both have a ton of HP. And uh, defenses are going to be on them for a long time. So you can sneak in a few hogs or wizards there. And then also uh, when the Valks make their way out, maybe could have got a little bit bolder. And some hogs would have helped too. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys like this live attack. Uh, hope you're enjoying the series. And uh, yeah, you'll see some more videos later. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, Toronto.